shortage of weight loss medications are leading some to the black market. The FDA is warning patients about fake Ozempic, saying the agency found thousands of units of counterfeit versions last year. They're also warning patients about the needles that come with items on the black market, saying some of them might not be sterile. So to discuss this more, I'm joined by Dr. Nita Bajor. She's a triple board certified physician at Oakview Medical Associates here in Greenville. So thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. And I think a lot of people have interest in these medications, one, because they do work pretty well, but they're so expensive. And I can see the attraction to try yeah. to find a cheap price or try to go to the black market or somewhere where it's not regulated so you can get a cheaper price. Um, but what is the danger of doing that? Well, you know, these are real medications and the brand versions are FDA approved. So they've been through safety, efficacy, quality, uh, rigorous clinical studies. Uh, the off-brand versions or the generic ones or the compounded ones uh, that are available so ubiquitously now, they don't have that safety data yet. So I think that's a real concern. Uh, even for us as healthcare providers, I mean, we want patients to have access, but because the brand medications are often uh, not in supply at the pharmacy or they're very expensive, that's mm -hmm. another big concern. Um, also inconsistent dosing or contamination because, you know, uh, they're not really the brand product coming out mm. from the, with the pens that the uh, pharmaceuticals manufacture. These are compounded medications that uh, are powdered and then reconstituted and uh, then, you know, so there's a lot of handling uh, in which you can have cross-contamination, possible allergic reactions to some of the other additives. Mm. They're adding B12, they're adding other uh, substances like carnitine, so uh, to make it different. Um, so that's a real concern. I think overall patients need to do their homework. They need to talk to their physicians. Uh, like myself, there are many board certified physicians in obesity medicine, and we are knowledgeable about the actual medications and the side effects, and so really seeking the care and knowing what you're getting into, because they're available online now for a couple of hundred bucks, and so that's very tempting for everyone to start taking, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, and, and that's why I want to get to my second question, because I know there are websites where, I guess you could say it's actually legal. You could legally buy this online right. as well, um, but my worry is you're not really under the supervision of a doctor. Doctor, maybe Absolutely. not to the extent that you should be. You probably still have to get the prescription, but let's say your doctor's virtually right. on the other part of the country. Um, yeah. So what's the importance of having a doctor in your local area supervising you when you're taking these? Well, a very large part of my practice is obesity medicine, so that's what I see every day, and I can't tell you how many people come to me because they've already either bought something online or they've tried something elsewhere and then have either had a side effect or uh, inconsistent uh, weight loss, so they've really not achieved results. And so so we really sit with them. It's not just about taking a medication. It's about having a complete integrative approach towards your wellness. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's about lifestyle, eating right, exercising, and having that one um, accountability coach on your side. So as physicians, we are that point of contact. I have some patients that have taken the online version and then have had side effects, and they've been told, just see your doctor, go to the emergency room. Well, that's... You know, it's that's like, not why didn't medicine. you go to the primary doctor <laughs> right. or your local doctor yeah. in the first place instead of buying yes, it online? Absolutely. So. All right. Well, thank you for your time. And no hopefully, you know, that gives a few tips to people out there yes. if they are looking to buy it online. Because as right. you said, it's pretty readily available. Readily available. I think do your research and talk to your physician so they know that you're planning to get this somewhere else. So. All right. Thank you, Dr. Bajor. Thank you. And now.